Hi, my name is Amarantha Sandys, and I am a um, teaching artist and a mixed media artist from Seattle and the King County area. Today, we're going to celebrate Children's Day or Book Day, which is a celebration that emphasizes of the importance of reading at all levels for all the different age groups um, and kids. The celebration, it's on April 30th. And today we're gonna make, uh, I'm gonna teach you how to make a journal binding. Um, there's two different techniques that we're gonna go over really quick. So gather your supplies, mats, graph paper, printer paper, colorful cardstock. And um, the first thing we're gonna do, um, we are gonna work on the spine, which is the, um, is the support for your journal. Remember, all the sheets that you work on it, they should be previously cut in half. So I'm gonna show you how to do this fine. So you have your sheet of paper, you fold that in half, you're gonna uh, bring your ruler here, you're gonna trace a line, then you're gonna cut it, and you end it up with a little strip of paper like this. Then you're gonna fold it in half, and half, then you're gonna mark a dot in between to later on hole punch this, and you're gonna end it up like this. So once I have my spine ready, I'm ready to assemble. The first thing, I wanna work on the cover of a journal. So I'm using solid paper and texture cardstock. So I have little bits of different papers that I'm just going to Play around and um, this is just a simple tutorial maybe I'll leave it like this for now then I'm on I'm gonna bring my printed paper all the papers that I have included maps and I'm going to bring it all together you could use any kind of paper that you have around uh, remember journaling it's a very good exercise for sketching drawing when you're traveling when you are out of nature so once I have my um, once I have my uh, the front of my my cover and all the papers that I wanted to do I'm going to staple this and we already have our four little dots that is going to tell us where we want this to be. So here is, I'm going to do this one more time. So here's a very quick example of a journal that you can make at home. The second one, we're going to do the same. You're going to have your, uh, you're going to work on the, uh, cover of your book and in this case I found some um, corrugated cardboard from um, an item that I ordered online and I'm just gonna add two little strips so again I'm trying to mix the uh, solid of the, uh, uh, the solid colors with textures on top of it so then I'm gonna have my papers in here my maps anything you want to add in here and one cool thing you can do, you can staple a little envelope in the, at the end, and uh, that could be for your treasures. Uh, you can put little items in here. So, once I have, I'm going to use my second spine. It, it's already, already hole punched this. I'm gonna make sure it's all like the paper it's covered. Then I'm gonna put a little paper clip in here and another one in here to prevent it from um, moving. If it's not perfectly aligned, you could, uh, you could use maybe a, a pencil, or oh, here's my pencil. You can use a pencil and you can really pass this through. If you need some help from your parents, um getting these holes you know in place just uh, uh ask for help so the next thing i want to do i'm going to bring my string over here and this is about three feet long 
I'm gonna place two tapes, I'm gonna put two pieces of tape on top of it, and that is gonna help me just to bind my journal. So I'm gonna do a very simple binding. I'm gonna have a little, um, you know, a knot at the end. And this is almost like stitching, so I'm gonna open up my journal in the middle, and I'm gonna start from the middle and the bottom of the hole. And just place it right over there. Okay. And I'm going to wrap this around one time. Remember, you can put this back so the paper don't go anywhere. So that's one. And then I'm going to bring this over to the top. And I'm going to wrap this around from behind. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to go up from behind and I'm going to wrap this first, second, third, fourth, second hole and I'm going to go up one more time and wrap this up. Mm -hmm. And at this point you could just end it right there. We can um, undo this and pass it around one more time and tie this up. And for the other one, we're just gonna pass this through here. Should have had more. And we're just gonna do a little knot in there. And trim it, trim it, trim it. Now that I'm happy with what I have, I'm just gonna fold this really quick. Here, and here. And I'm just gonna do another, I'm going to add a lot of glue in here and tap it. There you go. Well, so um, I hope you like this two uh, easy tutorials. Um, we'll see you soon and um, enjoy your book day, dia day. I'm actually going to put a sticker that I have in one of my journals and I'm gonna say together with Dia de los Dia, Dia de los Niños, Dia del Libro. Thank you.